So if you're making a move to Texas, why would you choose Austin over Dallas, Texas? Now, there are a couple of really good reasons to this. Now, admittedly, both are wonderful places to live, depending on your reason for making a move. Austin has been known uh, for a long time in the state of Texas as a really, really beautiful area. Now, there are lots of beautiful areas in Texas. Check our other videos. But uniquely, uh, the hill country, as we call it here in Texas, sort of starts and extends beyond Austin to the south and west, and a little bit in some other directions. But uh, Austin is known in the state of Texas as a really, really beautiful place, a place with a lot of outdoor living to be done, adventures, hikes, canoeing, kayaking, those kinds of things. You've got the Colorado River making its way right through just kind of on the edge of downtown Austin, which is a pretty cool deal. There's some bridges that cross over and you can see it from a lot of the taller buildings in the Austin area, which by the way, there's more of those than ever. Population in Austin has been exploding, which for some is a negative, but for the tech industry and others has been a real positive. We've seen Facebook and Apple with a the presence there, quite a few others. We've even seen Tesla toy with it. Amazon looked at it for a little bit. Uh, there's a big software and technology uh, presence in the Austin and surrounding areas. Now, um, Austin is obviously the capital of Texas. If you haven't memorized that song as a kid, now you know. Austin is the capital of the state of Texas. So there's a political center there, of course. It's been known for years locally as kind of a wacky political scene uh, with, with a little bit of shenanigans and some wild stuff there, uh, but certainly is a very serious place uh, for a huge state with a huge economy and a major, major political um, presence in not only the state, but the nation and, and beyond. Uh, former governors of Texas have made their way to the presidency and beyond in, in national and world politics more than once. So a lot going on in Austin on the political scene and the professional scene. Um, you've got, speaking of the Colorado River, which we just talked about a little bit, you've got Lake Travis, which is truly one of the more beautiful uh, waterways in the state and really in the country. Um, there's some deep cuts and some really beautiful cliffs there, which is atypical of most of the lakes in Texas. There is only one natural lake in Texas. Everything else is man-made, a dammed up river or uh, a collection of some other waterway. Lake Travis is no exception, but it is uniquely attractive. It's a great lake for boating and recreation, but in a lot of ways, it's a long, narrow, dammed up river, uh, which has eroded through those um, hard rock and some soft rock areas there that's really, really, really Really pretty. Uh, there's um, really no major professional sports in uh, in Austin. I'm going to get yelled at and get a lot of comments on that. There is a professional soccer team there, and there's a really really amazing racetrack there. So you've got some IndyCar racing that goes on there, and some recreational racing that goes on there as well as well at uh, Circuit of the Americas. So really, really well known. Crazy couple of facts there. A lot of people that are really, really into Texas high school football think about Austin because uh, there's a couple, more than one, two at least, big time powerhouse high school football teams uh, in the Westlake, Austin uh, kind of area. So uh, anyway, pretty, pretty incredible stuff. Huge attendance. A lot of those quarterbacks and players going on to college football and beyond. So uh, University of Texas, obviously right there in Austin, huge, huge presence in the city. And they're about as close as you're going to get to major sports if it's not a professional team anywhere in the country. University of Texas is huge. Now, um, great academic center, obviously a huge employment center, and then creates a lot of recreational opportunities as well with sports and other extracurricular deals there. Uh, you may you may know Matthew McConaughey, huge University of Texas fan and now professor and recently put out a, a book. So uh, Austin's got a lot going on. A couple of the things that people don't necessarily love about Austin is that it has grown a ton recently. It used to be sort of a smaller, uh, referred to as kind of a, in some ways, as a more free-spirited community within uh, cities across Texas, but it has become a bigger, more metropolitan area. Big-time traffic is a lot of times one of the negatives, one of the things that people kind of hold against Austin. Uh, but depending on what you're looking for, a lot of positives there. Now, the video is about Austin versus Dallas. So those are some of the reasons you might choose Austin over Dallas because those are some unique things that only Austin has. Now, Dallas, of course, 
is the topic of many, 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 many videos on this channel. So there's a ton of other videos you can get, uh, take a look at that are more thorough about Dallas. But Dallas is obviously a much larger city. If you're interested in, um, you know, airports and major international travel, typically, Dallas is going to be your better bet. If you're coming in or out of Austin, a lot of times you're going through Houston or Dallas. Doesn't have quite as large of an airport um, and certainly doesn't have as many travel options as uh, as the big city like Dallas or Fort Worth would. Um, as far as healthcare and access to things like that, obviously, again, the bigger city is going to have more options, but Austin has everything that you need. Dallas tends to be a little bit more of a banking center, a travel center, uh, certainly has plenty of technology going on here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, but Austin is uniquely known for that. One other thing that Austin is known for that you don't see quite as much of in Dallas is a music and film scene. Austin has really become home to a couple of major motion picture houses, as well as a really thriving live local music scene down on 6th Street, maybe off 6th on 5th, and uh, even all the way over to Congress in some ways. but. Um, uh, South by Southwest is a huge uh, music, film, arts festival that happens in Austin every year, most years, and uh, is massive corporate sponsorship, but has also kind of got that local, um, slightly less corporate feel, but it has become a big thing with a lot of corporate backing. So some great musicians have come out of Austin and almost all great musicians have gone through Austin. And again, that film scene has been a big deal there as well. Not just film though, there's been some TV stuff there as well. And certainly a lot of other art. If you ever get a chance to visit Sixth Street and, and beyond, there's a lot of street art and street music, as well as great venues that have a little bit of a Nashville feel with a little bit of Hollywood on the side. But again, Austin is holding on to that free spirit as much as they can. There's been a campaign in Austin for years and years and years called Keep Austin Weird. So if that tells you a little bit about Austin, uh, you'll get a lot more of that if you get a chance to visit. So that funky tie-dye, free-spirited kind of anti-establishment feel is still alive and present in Austin, even though there's been that major, major growth. Now, I could talk about Austin forever because it's a super popular, highly desirable place to live. But again, in comparison to Dallas, Dallas is bigger. Dallas does have those professional sports, has two uh, large airports, one being a huge international airport. Um, it's going to have more employment opportunities simply because it's larger, but it's got a more diversified workforce uh, and, a, and a wider variety of opportunity. Uh, Dallas and Fort Worth both are known for massive expansion into the suburbs. And in a lot of ways, Austin has just itself gotten a lot bigger. There's certainly big communities around there. If you're into food, Austin is a great place. Franklin Barbecue has become one of the most famous barbecue places on earth. And the Salt Lick is uh, just outside of Austin. That's also super, super popular. Kind of more of a destination even than a restaurant now. Good food, but a really, really well-known place for kind of getting that Texas Austin feel in that area. I could go on and on and on about Austin, and certainly there's a ton to say about Dallas and Fort Worth. So if you want more info on the Dallas-Fort Worth area and why you might make a move here, check out the rest of our channel. There's hundreds of videos on the topic and what there is to like about both. So Austin versus Dallas, I can't call a winner here. I'll just say there's great reasons to live in both places, but these have been a lot of reasons that you may love Austin. If you make a choice for Dallas or Fort Worth and you're thinking about buying a property here or just looking for someone that could get you some info on the area, we are a real estate brokerage and we'd love to help you out. Our contact, our contact information is below. Comment below. We read every single one. We'll engage with you there in the comments. Or again, you can find our contact information below and connect with us offline one-on-one. -on -one. We'd love to help you out, point you towards a resource, a restaurant, a church, an employment opportunity, a neighborhood, a community. Or of course, we'd love to help you buy, sell, or invest in real estate here. So see you on the next video. 